If the presidential election is the main event, Florida's Senate race gets top billing on the undercard. Tonight, Republican incumbent Marco Rubio debated his Democratic challenger, Patrick Murphy. CBS 4's Ted Scouten was there. He joins us live now from Orlando. Ted. Hi, Rudy Babel. The gloves came off early in this one. Each candidate tried to tie the other one to their presidential nominee. And tonight, Marco Rubio distanced himself from Donald Trump. I don't understand how Senator Rubio can look himself in the mirror and still stand by Donald Trump's side after everything that's come out about him. Just minutes into this first Senate debate, Donald Trump is the main topic. Senator Marco Rubio tried throughout the night to frame himself as an independent thinker. I don't trust either one of them. And the job of a U.S. senator is not to blindly trust the president because they happen to be from your own party. And Rubio tied Murphy to Hillary Clinton. I don't trust Hillary Clinton with classified information. She has proven she, that she cannot handle it and that she would expose it to foreign intelligence agencies as she has. The two sparred on issues that have dogged each of them throughout the entire campaign. It's shameful to me that we have a senator with one foot out the door who will not even show up to work. Think about what's at stake in this election. We can do so much more, but you got to show up to work. Rubio called Murphy ineffective and saying he exaggerated his work in school history. Have you misled Floridians about your experience and your qualifications? Absolutely not. In fact, the last six attacks that Marco Rubio and his right wing special interest friends have lobbed at me have all been debunked, labeled as false. If I may, yes. those are not my attacks. Those are, that's the reporting of CBS4 in Miami and Jim DeFeedy, one of the most respected and I would say feared investigative reporters in the state. Both Murphy and moderators tried to pin down Rubio on his plans for the future. Are you promising to fill all six years of your term? Yeah, I'm going to serve in the Senate for the next six years. So you're so not that's a proud willing. So this means you're not running for president. I'm going to be a senator for the next six years on behalf of the state of Florida. <laughs> And also tonight, both candidates were asked if they believe Donald Trump's claims that the election is rigged. Both of them said no. Marco Rubio went on to say he wishes that Donald Trump would stop saying that. Live in Orlando, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News Tonight.